Greetings, I greet you all in that wonderful, powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Matthew, the same name is Plakis. I'm from the Northern Cape in Olifanzuk. The reason that I'm here at Charis today, it's because I once I had a dream of the great apostle, Makananesa. And while I'm a man who usually prays on the mountain, but in this dream I could see, I could, I could see that no, there's a lot of people, people that was, uh, that was singing in a place there at the garage. And so, but the mountain is on that side. And so, in my passing, and so I was so curious. And then I went to, I went to, to look what is going on there. That's where. When I, came, when I came into the door, Apostle pointed at me and he said, This is a man of God. And he touched me. And after touching me, he said to me in that dream, That this is a man of God. Go and help my people, there, my pastors there. And I went there. That's the reason that I'm here. And even my health, I'm not good. My health and my calling and these dreams that I usually have. And I know that by myself, it's not easy to understand them. Most of the time I'm watching the Charis uh, uh, videos. So that encourages me also to come to this place and said, no, I have to. But God made it possible for me to get that, 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 that money to come to Charis. I was supposed to come last week, but due to, to certain problems, I couldn't come. But here I am today. I'm so happy to be here. Also, my health. I always feel, I always feel pains in my body. I don't know what pains, but he he confirmed it when I was. He just said yes. Watch the issue of blood pressure, and he asked me if I drink any pills. I said no. I'm not on any treatment. There's no treatment that I use. But he said to me, today. He believes that when I come from here, he will pray for me and then I won't, I won't have those problems. And I believe 100% that that's the reason why I am here. And he also told me about the dreams of my late wife. You know, the sickness that I experience now, for me it's a disturbance because it affects my sight. It affects my sight and sometimes I cannot see clearly and the, 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 the headaches and pains in my body that's that that affects me a lot because i'm i'm someone who like to pray but sometimes as your own prophet you cannot so you you need someone with a higher anointing because i don't believe in drinking pills and for the rest of my life. No, I don't believe in that. What I believe is that there is a God who died for us on the, on the cross of Calvary. And he mentioned it in, in the book of Peter. In the book of Peter, Second Peter 2, verse 24, that uh, through his stripes I am healed. So I believe that as from now on I am healed because of his word. Because we have to believe what the word says. He says in his word that his word is forever settled in heaven. So I take that word into my situation right now. Thank you. Viewers, you know, today I had the opportunity to see Prophet Andres. And what he said to me, I can confirm everything concerning my sickness, and concerning my dreams and the things that I've asked God and trust God for. And I believe that. And he confirmed it through saying that I've, I have dreams. And, and I've asked God not only for dreams but for visions as well. That's what he confirmed. And, uh, that is true. That's what I, I had all this time. I know the dreams are there and God is showing me. And he even said things that I, I believe that it, it, it is true. Things like, I must be careful. Accidents could happen because the, when God has plans for you, accidents can, Satan can, cool, uh, can, can, can kill you through accidents as well. And he also, because I'm worried about my son, 
and my daughter is not working and he confirmed to me that they what they are doing but there are things that my son is that my son is hiding from me and that is very 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 true and uh, and he also said that he wish that my son can love god the way i love god that's what he said unto me and business as well he said to me also about my businesses they are not moving and that's that's exactly that's 100% true what he what he said about about what he prophesied about me so i'm really happy to meet the prophet in his office so i'm so excited really and i said yeah and i said to myself yeah, when i can just meet him and he prayed for me for all those problems that was hindering especially the sight of my wife who passed on that i must start to forgive her i must start to forgive her and that's 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 really true i can confirm it's true you know what what uh, uh, the prophet said about my son i can confirm that it is true he's very educated but he couldn't find work so but now since he got work now he's using things that i don't know that is hiding because he is not with me he's working in kimberley so i can confirm that it's true that he's hiding those things from me the prophet also asked me about my businesses i say yes i've got a regi- registered company but that is not moving at all at all but he assured me and i believe what the prophet said because the bible teaches us that we have to believe in the in the prophets and then we shall be prosperous so what he said concerning my business because he asked me about i didn't even mention them and he said that's what he says my business is only on paper but there's nothing but i know my god through the word of the prophet that i will come with a testimony when i when i come back next time to give my testimony but i also want to conf- confirm what the prophet asked me about the dreams that i have of my wife you know it's now 2 years since she since she passed away and when he reminded me about my dreams i can confirm that that is true that i cannot forget who's there who can just forget a, a partner that you love so many years with her and now so i was always thinking about her but now since he mentioned he said he, he will pray for me that i must move forward and i know that i will move forward right now after the after you laid hands on me you know you. after seeing the prophet i'm so excited within my spirit because the exactly things that he've said concerning my spiritual he said i will see my my ministry as from this moment and i believe that i'm going to shake the, i'm going to shake the northern cape with what yeah let the world know that he is a prophet at charis you know just to encourage those who are watching out there you know we say sometimes we are ministers and we are rightfully said but the problem is this even as a pastor or a apostle or everyone else they need the extra touch you know in life when you are a man of god in in this for instance in the police there are ranks in the police but so is it also in the spirit realm there are ranks so you think that you are so anointed but there are others who are a little higher so i encourage others who needs deliverance who needs healing who needs every all these things and to want to hear a confirmation come to cherish here is the right place for us to come and so that the, the prophet may confirm your worries the things that you are so anxious and and worried about he is here the grace of god operates in this church thank you lord for removing the pain Jesus. of this man i pray that today yes. let him find courage to move forward yes lord thank you after the death of his wife I speak on his behalf. Thank you, Lord. That lady, as you promised him. Yes, Lord. I pray that let his future 
building it today. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for anointing you. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for the Son to leave all these things that he's doing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.